Shalom. I want to give all praise unto Yahweh by Shimei Al-Shai, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Al-Shai. Give double honors to the apostles and the elders, which are the apostles and the elders that rule the great millstone that have been set up through faith and wisdom and knowledge to help seal the elect that the Lord is bringing in. We're at the time of, of prophecy screaming in your face, okay? How our brothers have been making videos. I just wanted to, um, it's more like a response and uh, another, you know, just to go into it, man, because this is a heavy, a heavy thing that's going to be pushed upon us. We're getting ready to go to the, through the time of, of, of hardness, man, and, and the Lord is going to um, preserve his elect. Some of us might have to go through a little bit of stuff, but, you know, the most high is, is, is not unrighteous that he doesn't see our works, man, okay? So we just got to hope and pray and, and, and just keep and thank you, Habashim Yahushua, man, for the, the opportunity to know what we know and to at least take just this drink of the water, man, which is this knowledge and wisdom, okay? So I'm going to play this clip and then I'm just going to go into some precepts because this is it's right in your face. If you can't see it, then you're not meant to see it, okay? But it's right here. So all the people that was, was, was saying that we're this, we're that, we don't know what we're talking about, we don't have 100% truth. Is this not, did this not come to pass? If we didn't have the truth, then how, how was, how were we able through the, through the power of Yah, Bashim Yah, and the apostles and elders on down to know that this was coming to pass? Okay, because by the spirit that was given to us by Yah, Bashim Yah, it's a company in Wisconsin offering employees microchips to replace ID badges. It's hosting a chip day party to uh, implant the devices in the employees. And our guy Ron Mott is at the party. Hey, Ron, how is it? Hey, Hoda and Matt, good morning to you both. You know, we all know people who complain that their companies treat them like machines. Well, Three Square Market is sticking it to their folks today using these needles. Now, let me show you first what this microchip looks like. It is about the size of a grain of basmati rice. So Patrick here is the CEO. Andy is a licensed body piercer, so let it rip. We're going to see this now. I got it. I can't look. I can't look. Needle is in. Chip is in. Bingo. Not very much blood at all. Patrick, how that feel? Better than uh, get my wisdom teeth out. Okay, and you're still conscious. <laughs> yeah, I'm great. <laughs> Melissa got chipped yesterday. But you had to be talked into doing this. How long did it take you to say yes to this? I was a little hesitant at first, but I had seven days to think about it. And once I learned the facts, there was no question in my mind. Okay, one last thing we want to show you over here, Hoda and Matt. Go ahead, Steve. They can buy their goodies here in the break room by just using their hand. Real quickly, he's going to get a Kit Kat bar. And it's paid for a dollar and six cents, guys. So the question again, as we asked you last week, are you ready to be chipped, guys? Let's send it back to you. And then look, I'm kind of a, I don't and know then that it I would says do it. a dollar and six, because what is the number of that mark? Six, six, six. So that was a spiritual thing with when he purchased something that it came up to a dollar and six cents. Okay, that's just showing that's a spiritual number that's in there, man. Out of all the thing, out of all the money, that could have been a dollar. It could have been 105, 107, 108. Why oh, the Lord allowed it to be 106, man? Okay, so those are the little things that are, are showing us. So I'm uh, I'm gonna go through some scriptures because brothers have, have broke this video down and um, went into it. But I just wanted to give a little bit. Um, I just wanted to go through the scriptures, man, and the precepts that came to my mind as I was watching that video, man. Because we, hey, we're at the time, man. Brock the Yahweh, Brock the I was shy. We almost home, man. I can we almost home. This this thing is this thing is at the door. This is book of Habakkuk 2 and verse 3, and it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Now, if we go into that word, all I want to bring out this word here is speak. Okay? The word there for speak is pa, pa wak, pa wak, pa wak, okay, and it says to breathe, blow, breathe, cause to exalt. So this chip is being exalted in the in the news, and it's being exalted right now in front of your face because the words are being pushed out, man. Or breath, it's cause to exalt or breathe, 
to puff, snort, to excite. And you see the looks on these people's faces. Look at them. Look at them. They, they're, they're getting excited by this madness, man. You see her, her smile back there? Little Edomite smile. Okay? And it says, To inflame, puff, pant for, breathe out, utter, to blow, blast. So the Most High is allowing this word, this prophecy to, to come out and, and be pushed to the forefront. That's what we're looking at. We're in the time of, of, of prophecy. And it says, Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Behold, the soul which is lifted up, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. But the just shall live by faith. So this is the main thing. Now that this is speaking, if we consider ourselves just under the guise of Yah Bashim Shai, we have to what? Live by faith. We're coming to the time of faith, man. It's going to be a time of pure faith. You have to have faith in this thing, man. It can't just be oh we all oh, we out there ca calling the white man the devil. And week in and week out. No, we. Why were we doing this throughout the years? To build up faith, to build up the the um, ammunition we're gonna need in the time of war. It's spiritual ammunition, okay? Just like you see a man, a gunsmith. A gunsmith may prep bullets. Prep prepping is all. It, it, it's all in prepping. Just like right now it says we shall rehearse the righteous acts. We're rehearsing for when we go into the actual show. And we do it the right way. Okay, so now we've been prepping ourselves spiritually and, 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 and putting our spiritual armory full. So we wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of the time. So we can be able to attack. We can be able to do what we need to do to, to maintain in those times, man. Alright, so let me just go through some more precepts. This is uh, the book of Hebrews. This is Hebrews 10 and 37. It says Hebrews 10 and 37 says, For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and not tarry. So the Most High, Yahweh is going to send his son back. Yahweh is going to send his son back to come and take this place out. Okay, when they come in to, to, to try to put a stamp on the world as they own the world, no, they're just renting it, man. Okay, that's why Job 9 and 24 says, The earth is given into the hands of the wicked, okay? Just like a rental car. You can't go to a rental car rental agency and rent the car and you've had it so long you think it's yours no it don't matter how long you so-called had it you paid on it you've done anything to it it still belongs unto the company unto the rental car company okay just like a bank if a bank gives you a loan and you don't make the payments on that loan they can come and foreclose on your house or whatever that that uh, loan entitled tiles so the same thing with the planet earth the earth was given into Esau's hand as a rental man Okay, this earth is 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 been rendered unto the wicked, but it's it's short to come into the hands of the righteous and the kingdom which is belongs unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, man. Okay, so and and Esau is gonna have to pay for the for the the things that he's done to it. Just like if you rent a car and you scratch up the interior, if you uh uh um you mess up the engine, you mess up the block, you don't you don't change the oil like you're supposed to. You got to pay a rental fee for that. You got to pay a fee for that. So Esau has to pay for the destruction of the planet Earth, man. Okay, that's why he's going to go into a thousand years of bondage. And then after that, he's going to be done, man. That's that's the payment. I'm putting it into a, it's a layman's, man. That's why I want to put it to where Jake can understand. Okay? It says, now the just shall live by faith. This is a reoccurring thing. This is a reoccurring thing with this lesson. That the just will live by faith. So when all these chip, this chip come out, all these things, trust Dakia, man. I'm just a personal testimony. I'll tell you like this, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is taking care of me, man, when I didn't have means to be taken care of, okay? I'm not going to elaborate too much into it, but the Most High has, has cared for me many years when I, I did, was not, was, didn't, I pretty much did not, was not supposed to even be, maintaining and the lord maintained it man and it was even more when i came into the truth all right personal testimony man keep faith in yahweh bashim yahushai it's real man it's real okay and it says now the just shall live by faith but if any man draw back my soul shall have no pleasure in him so if you take this chip and you trust in esau and you don't and don't put your faith in yahweh bashim yahushai the lord ain't gonna have no pleasure in you and that's something you don't want to have happen man okay 
This is the book of Psalms. This is Psalms 27 and 14. I'm just going to go through these precepts. This is Psalms 27 and 14. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. So the Lord is going to strengthen us in those times. We're not going to have to worry about eating food. We're going to have wine in abundance, man. The Most High in the time of the ancient world caused crows to feed the men of the Lord. So if the Most High can do that, how much in these days, man? The Most High is going to show out, man. You just got to put your trust in him. You ever see those uh, situations, they call them trust falls? Your trust fall means you give up all all, all power in yourself and put your, your, your life into somebody else's hands. So our trust fall needs to be on Yahweh Bashim Shah, man. And this is Luke 12 and 23. The life is more than meat and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens. And I just, it says, for consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, neither... Uh, it says, which neither have storehouse nor barn, and Yahweh feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? So the Most High saying, look, man, the, the the ravens they don't they don't till, they don't do all those things. They don't they don't go to a job, but birds just do bird things. So in, in that time, this society is geared to your mind that you need to to depend on the government for your for your 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 needs. Which is not so. You do Yahabashi Miyasha is the one that gives us the food and the things that we need. Alright? Uh, let me get this real quick. This is the book of Matthews. This is Matthew six and twenty seven. And it says, Which of you by taking it says, Which of you by think taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature? So you you can't add cubit unto your stature, okay? And it says, And why take thou thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Therefore, if Yahweh clothe the grass of the field, which which is which which today is day is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye little of O ye of little faith. That's why I said, look, faith is going to be a strong component in these last days, man. It says, therefore, take no thought, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what whither shall we be clothed? For all these things do the Gentiles seek. Esau, look, Esau's after that. That's why he's going to take that chip in that time, because he's not going to have faith in Yahabashim Yahushai. It says, for you, your heavenly Father knoweth that that ye have need of all these things but seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness which is the law statutes and commandments and the faith in his son which he set up to be the, the heir of all things and his righteousness all these things shall be added unto you so with that I'm gonna give all praise unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Brakatha Yahweh Brakatha Yahweh Shai Akin we almost home man keep faith Shalom